data-driven corner bakeries. I'm talking about the corner store having a lot of computing going on. <laughs> yeah, the economist, Chris Fontanomics, points out that we are using data-driven corner bakeries. Now, what are they talking about? It's not the price that's changing. It's not the cost that's changing. It's the supply. Price and cost are set. Supply, not so much. Here's the challenge, croissants. Croissants sell at $3.50 a pop. When you get much higher than that, people say, oh, just give me a piece of bread instead. The cost to make a croissant, it's not the flour, it's that butter, it's pretty expensive, and they're estimating at $2.60 per croissant. Challenge, if you don't sell a croissant, you're out $2.60, but you made no money. All leftover croissants are waste. They're just waste. So what's the solution? The solution that they're taking these data-driven suppliers is to update those supply decisions every 60 to 90 minutes. Vary the croissant production day by day, by day of week. Get rid of those brownies and carrot cakes on Monday because people had a decadent weekend, they want something lighter. Change it by the weather. If it rains, it doesn't rain inside. Nobody wants to have a croissant though. Change it by the season. They mentioned about Yom Kippur, the demand the next day for croissants going up. Vary it by the product. When you have the late in the day, stop producing those expensive to make products, produce cheap to make products, but you know, keep your price somewhat manageable and use that to manage your uncertainty. What's the success metric if you're a croissant maker? Having one at most one croissant left over at the end of the day. Why does Dr. Wiglaff told Tech Mesoamerican say one is the success metric? Well, if you have more than one, it means you made too many. If you have less than one, it means you might have been able to sell some more. One. <laughs>